Hey, what's going on social media? I'm Steve Ludwig, also known as Mr. Insurance. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, an ignition interlock device and it being on your car and just some of the different questions that I get asked by people. Uh, so one of the common questions that it will come across is, is, well, can I drive another vehicle if I have that ignition interlock device or blower device on my car? Um, and the answer to that, we all know that the answer what it already is, uh, the answer to that is no, you are a, um, restricted driver and the state has taken matters into their own hands because you have now demonstrated that you are more prone to be drinking and driving thus the reason why you have to carry that ignition interlock on your car uh, however long that that might be 30 days 60 90 days a uh, year however long that it is um, now a lot of people also ask well can i just have somebody else drive my car well that's okay you know, you can have somebody drive your car. They're gonna have to blow or hum into the device. Um, they're definitely to start it. And then you're gonna probably in intervals as you're driving, that person's gonna have to blow in that again. Now, what it does not excuse is that if you're driving the vehicle and you're intoxicated, you don't wanna just like hand it to your kid next to you. I mean, like that's the reason bad decisions like that are probably the reason why you're in that predicament to begin with and you should start abiding by the law at this point. So you don't wanna hand it to a child or your child, whoever, next to you. You don't wanna hand it to a friend or the most sober person in the car. You don't wanna do any of that kind of stuff. Now, same deal goes that if you rent a car, you cannot drive that vehicle. If you have that restriction on your license, you cannot drive that vehicle. Well, I should say, legally, you cannot drive that vehicle. It doesn't mean it won't happen, but you cannot drive that vehicle legally and you have to have somebody else that is driving the car for you. So just get comfortable in that passenger seat or pick out a seat in the back seat for you to get comfortable in because you are not really truly supposed to be driving. You're under restricted driving privileges at this point and you probably don't want to uh, fall into that temptation and get yourself into more problems down the road. So. Uh, that was the answer to that. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try and answer back as quickly as I possibly can. But until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.